outperformed last week against Colorado? Uh, I thought it was okay. I did some things well, some things I could have done better. Um, and it obviously wasn't my position I played for, for a while, but I think uh, it works the same if you're confident and you know how your team wants to play. You just kind of go with the flow. But um, obviously the we have no excuse for you know that performance, but the field was, was a little bumpy and you know their, their lines were pretty tight, so it was hard to find the ball a lot. But you know I thought there was some good, some bad, and you know things will work on. When did you find out you were gonna uh, start at that position? Uh, just the the day before. I think we got there a day early and we trained. So the day before, uh, Gonzalo told me. Um, that Ozzy wasn't going to be with us, so he, he told me I was going to play there the day before. So, um, kind of just mentally prepared for you know 24 hours and, and just got got on with it. So you didn't get to train at all. Uh, no, a little a little light training before <laughs> a little walkthrough, but um, no 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 serious training in that position. How did you try to prepare? Did you watch film or what did you do? Um, I feel like you know probably last time I started a game there was you know, a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago in academy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I will, in terms of just knowing the position, I watch a lot of games. I mean, I talk to my teammates, like Amar, Rosetta, I've talked to them. So I don't, I don't think it was, it was too much to, to really stress about. Um, I felt pretty, pretty confident that I could, you know, do a job that the team needed me to do. Um, so, you know, I didn't, I didn't try to, you know, kill myself with, with trying to learn the position because I thought I, I already uh, knew a lot about it. If you uh, are asked to play it again against Charlotte on Sunday, what um, what are the things you did well that you can improve upon, and what are the things that you think you got to improve upon? This? Um, I think just being aware of one where the space is and, and um, you know where your teammates are moving. Um, I think maybe you know one thing I could have done better is is moving off my other midfielders better, uh, making more space for them. Um, that's something you can always improve on in any position. Um, and then on top of that, maybe just you know checking my shoulder, knowing when the defenders are coming. Uh, you know, first touch is, is probably the most important in that position. So I think those those things are going to improve. So the first about the, the space, that was the thing you thought you did well. I think that's something that it was okay, but could have could have okay. been a lot better. Okay. Uh, first time y'all are going to face Charlotte. Um, is this game any different than any other? Um. You know, it's a home game, and I think we, we, we know we need three points, and the the demand of, of this club is to get three points out of a win game, uh, oh, sorry, a home game, and so I think it's it's no different than any other home game. I think new team or not, we need to win, and that's what we're going for. Yeah, they kind of pointed their metaphorical finger at Atlanta United about trying to be better than y'all attendance records and knock you off the perch. Does that matter at all to you? No, no. I mean, you know, I don't know if their stadium capacity is more than ours. That's it nothing is. we can do. So I think we're just focused on the results on the field. Uh, and looking forward to maybe facing Anton again? Yeah, yeah. He's a great friend. Uh, you know, I learn a lot from him, talk to him. Um, you know, I don't know if he'll he'll start or not. Um, but, you know, I hope he does and I hope I see him. And how nice is it to have uh, Sosa and Moraney and a couple of those other guys back out there? Yeah, it's good to see them back. Um, our team's been a bit thin recently, so I think we need everybody, and we still have some more players uh, coming to train uh, probably this week, later this week, so it's really good to see them. Um, I would just honestly, more mentally, I would say they just gave me some confidence pointers rather than you know, too much information. Um, I think it, it's when you give a lot of information to somebody, you might try to over, you might overwhelm them. Uh, but I think they just give me some, some, you know, easy, easy tips, um, some confidence, and just you know, play like you usually do. You know, we know you can, you know, you can play there, and uh, you know, we know you'll, you'll play well. So I think it was, it was mostly about confidence. But you know, at the same time, they, um, they told me, you know, how to. Kind of check your shoulder more, what to look for, what type of passes to look for, and uh, just to play simple. And coming off the loss, what has the mood been like at training? What are some things you guys are working on? Yeah, it was a bit upsetting coming back, but you know, we know we have a, you know two home games coming up, and you know that's six points that we need to take and we think we should take. So I think we're focused on that. Um, in terms of what we're working on, it's you know it's 
kind of the usual you know, tactics focused on how Charlotte play, how we can expose them, how we can defend against them, and you know, I think we're, we're, we'll be ready. I just say just come out and, and support us. We know, uh, you know, we know they always do, um, and I think we we're gonna need them. And uh, you know, three points is, is what we're going for to make them happy again. So I would say that. With Miles' suspension, I guess you could all, you might start the center back also beside Allen. Have you? I can't remember if last year did you play beside Allen in the two man back line at all, or two platoon back line at all? I don't think I. I can't remember. I don't. I don't think I, I played um, with anybody alone. Just two, so I don't think so. How would that partnership work? Do you think? You know, do all, what are y'all's comparative strengths? You know, I think he's a good player. I mean, he's good on the ball, and and I think you know, similar to Miles, they have you know good defensive attributes. Um, I think it's most about communication, understanding, kind of how he plays, when he wants to step in, when he wants to you know make a good you know long pass or a short pass. So I think it's just mostly about communication, um, knowing how he plays, and I think we've all trained with each other more than enough to know that. Thanks, George. I think you're a big generous caller. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Thanks, George. Uh, one, two, three. Two consecutive starts. How do you think he performed so far? I think different games. Um, at home, always. We need to try to win. They send an away game, but you know, because of the different kind of situation during the away during the away game, uh, we felt like lack of concentration. And, but honestly, uh, I I know that I need to give more to the team. Uh, and this is just the start, the start. Is there anything in particular that you need to do better? Do you think? I think probably because. Both both game we have different. I have been playing with different players around me, so I need to adjust to the characteristic of them. Uh, in the first game, I have a uh, Luis and the uh, Dom Dyer for a certain time. In the second game, with uh, Brooksy, so we need to like to have more time to play and to find each other and play very well. So it, it will take time for sure. There's something that you're, you're you're particularly proud of that you're doing well. Uh, my hard work, okay. independent, uh, regardless, uh, every day I come here to, to improve myself. Uh, of course, my objective is to be better every day on the field, but also as a personal person. Okay. Uh, how do you all fix the, you said concentration was a bit of an issue against Colorado. How do you all fix that? Because this has been an issue for this team for a couple of seasons now. Yeah, we know that. Uh, if, you, if you see the game, uh, we start to play very well. Uh, like I said, uh, I think we fell down like after we conceded the first goal. Mm -hmm. We felt like, oh, like uh, so disappointed mm -hmm. that uh, in the second half when we were like ready to go again to to try to to be in the game back, uh, we conceded the second one. So I think was that the small detail we need to be aware, uh, be aware in away, away games. Uh, and that's it. But we know the quality we have in the team. We know uh, as a group we are a family. So we, we need to bounce back in the in the weekend. Have you watched film of Charlotte yet? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, even though that uh, they are new club in the MLS, I think they are a good tie. They are improving um, every game they play. Uh, so we need to be aware of the, their strength and then try to to minimize them and play our game. Uh, are you looking forward to seeing Anton? Yeah, uh, even though that he he haven't played so much, um, yeah, he, we know really him um, well in in Atlanta. So looking to see him. MLS and, and Charlotte, to a degree, are trying to pump this up into a rivalry because they're you know one state up. Uh, but y'all haven't even played a game. Can this be a rivalry when they're you haven't even played? I don't know how to say, but you know, because of, because of the place we are living, both both uh, club, I think should be a derby. But I don't know. We will play the first one, and we will see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Proper answer. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy, do you have anything? Yeah. Creo que nos sentimos 
un poco eh, tristes por el, por el resultado, pero, pero ya reagruparnos como grupo, eh, un poquito decepcionados por la calidad del equipo, por, por algunas cosas que, que, que no demostramos, yo creo que la falta de carácter, pero, yo, pero cre, creemos y estamos muy seguros de que estaremos de vuelta este fin de semana. Eh, creo que para mí lo veo como confirmar, confirmar todo el trabajo que, que he venido haciendo eh, los últimos años y creo que tenemos esa revancha, ese, ese, esa espinita de cómo terminamos el año pasado perdiendo en los cuartos de final eh, y creo que todos estamos con los mismos objetivos de, de sacar adelante a lo más alto. No, siempre le vamos a agradecer por el apoyo todo brindado. Creo que no tengo dudas que estarán el fin de semana con nosotros siendo el, el jugador número, número 12. Eh, estamos preparados y enfocados en dar el 100% de nosotros en la cancha y, y tratar de darles una alegría a toda la ciudad. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.